the three in front are females, as you can see. Yes. They have names which are just for identification purposes. We don't, I mean, they don't respond to their names. So we just give them those names for us humans to identify them as to which one is which. Before knowing the names of the lions, it's important to know the people that are here. We're meeting Andrew, Hello. Peter, Hello. Bonface, Hello. Lunda, Hello. Hello. and Christian. So these okay. are lion experts. They are here to make sure that you are safe and you enjoy the experience to the fullest. These are guides that spend much of their time with these lions and they understand them better. So they will also be giving instructions from time to time. You just need to follow their instructions. Okay. And uh, coming to lions, we have three females here who have names as well. The one on the left side is Loretta. In the middle is Zenka and on the right side is Anna. Then we have the male seated alone over there. Uh, that's the brother to the tree. His name is Eric. Oh, Eric. They are siblings from the same mother and the same daughter. And they are just two years, eight months old. So they look bigger than their age because of being animals that grow very fast, especially in the first two years of their lives. And when you look at them, you can see that they are breathing a little bit hard. This doesn't mean that they are tired. But it's a sign that the weather is too warm for them yet. Because these are animals with very thick skins. The skin of a lion is estimated to be between six to eight times thicker than the human skin. Hence, they don't have sweat glands. So in order to regulate their body temperatures, they just spend much of their time under shed areas or they pant like dogs, like they are doing now, that is panting. Or oh, they drink a little bit of water, though they are not, not, not known to be very much water dependent. And when the weather is cool, like in the night, early in the morning, late in the afternoon, they are always active. All right, um, and uh, these are also optimistic animals. Their behavior may change depending on what is happening at that particular time. They may seem to be lazy like this, uh, but this doesn't guarantee other animal species to present themselves here. Okay. They can change from rela being relaxed like this to hyperactive in a split second. Indeed. Okay, so we shall be sharing more information as we go on with our experience. Feel free to ask as many questions as you wish to ask. But before you begin approaching them, I'm going to give you a practical demonstration so that you have a clear picture on how to do it. So basically, for interactions, you don't approach them straight away from the front. You have to walk around. Approach should be done from the back. And as you approach, it's very important that you talk to them. Talking should be done in any language because it is just something that is meant to announce your presence. So you say anything in any language, and as soon as you get behind, like you hear, you don't have to be standing for too long because these are animals that also get intimidated with our heights. Okay. So when you make them feel comfortable, you see the way she's looking at me, mm -hmm. it's a sign that she's not comfortable with her height. So to make her feel comfortable, I have to go down like this. I lower my height a bit. Okay. Dominance lies in the height. You can put the stick like this or just drop it. Then you touch them. Touching itself should be firm and gentle. Don't touch like this. Lightly like this. Okay. The lion has to feel like a little Really? Let all of them feel that people are behind them. But you don't touch the tails when they are sitting. They don't play with each other's tails, so you don't do that. But if you want to play with the lion's tail, you can only do it when the lion is standing or when it's walking. Okay. If it hits you with its tail, that's not a problem. You shouldn't scream. You shouldn't do that. And um, you don't touch the head. You don't do good to touch the head. The pose is very ticklish. Then uh, if it looks at you, there will be no need of you panicking. Remember what I said, that this is an extension of your heart. Okay. The stick. So you only want the stick in the lion's mouth like this. The rest of the stick. Not 
Okay. They stand up or they spin and you're trying to change their position. You can quite stand up and just move backwards without even running. Okay. So once you're done, you do like you get it back to them again, you can do it from the back. Okay, so scummy first. Mr. Miskov? Blue fist. Me? Yes, sir. Okay. Let's go, Papa.